And now it, uh, we got to adjust a little bit this week as Sunday matches throw us off a little bit. But uh, go to go to uh, uh, Indiana on Wednesday. I think I think this team, you know, can play at a really high level. You know, when when they want to. Um, I haven't been able to get them to do that every night. That's what we're working on. I think we're serving at a really high level. Uh, defensively, we're good enough. And then uh, siding out, uh, we just we've got we've had a couple of rotations where we keep getting stuck in and losing a lot of points, and we, and we can't have that. And part of that is being able to pass and set the middle to take the heat off our left sides. So, um, but I think we're getting better at it. And uh, <clears throat> so we'll see. We're going to get some good tests here uh, this week. Indiana's always tough. Michigan smoked us there 3-0, and then we got Illinois, Penn State on the road. So this will be a good finish for us to keep seeing where we're, where we're at and if we're improving. Well, we passed really well except for game three and the one server who served us off the court. And we hadn't seen that serve, so we didn't really prepare for it. And she was on fire with it. And, uh, and finally, we just had Katie take it, and she did a nice job with it and passed it really well from at some point in game three and then all the way through game four. So, um, but, you know, passing is a day-to-day -day thing. It's, it's uh, <clears throat> and ball handling is a day-to-day -day thing. It's just, it's a mindset, you know, that uh, great passers have. You know, Robinson, Jordan Larson, all those guys, just Caleb Banworth have great mindsets. They want to put every ball perfect on the setter's head, basically. And this is a really, you know, all of our passers are freshmen, sophomores. They're still developing that mindset and what it takes to do that every day. Maryland's a very good serving team. We played them up there. We still outserved and passed them in our stats, and we played them at Maryland. We outserved and passed them, but neither team passed well at Maryland, and neither team passed well yesterday. I mean, I mean, I, again, we take out game three. We did a really nice job. Our past, first two games, we passed great. Well, if they're, if they're good enough serving and they can pinpoint them, I can't have Justine take the whole court. So we're we're, we're not there yet, um, but. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to get her to take more balls and be more aggressive. But like I said, Maryland's a very good serving team. Yeah, she's the uh, best serving leader I've ever coached. And I, what I mean by that is, is that, you know, she's all about the team. She gives the team. She'll do anything for them. In fact, she does too much probably, and we have to ask her to back off a little bit because she needs to take care of herself. But uh, just a, a a great, hard, hard, one of the hardest working players we've ever had here. And, you know, she, she came here and has made the most of her opportunity. And, <clears throat> you know, she'll, whatever she wants to do after she graduates from here, um, she wants to be a, a dentist, but she also could be a, a one heck of a coach. And she knows that. She'll, she'll have job offers right out of, out of Nebraska if she wants them to coach. But I think she wants to go to dental school. So we'll see what, where that tug of war takes her. But anyway, great, great, great young woman who has worked really hard and um, is given everything, heart and soul to this team. Well, the, I recruited her out of high school, and she sat here, and we played in Devaney when Lauren was a freshman. UCLA beat us here in five, and it was sold out. And she was here, and I offered her, and she said, well, I want to wait a year. I said, sorry, we're not waiting. You know, with setters, you can't wait. And she waited away until her senior year to make a decision and really there was very few opportunities she had, and she ended up going to Tennessee. And then, uh, you know, we got her on the rebound with Kelsey. So those two were tight, and you know, and we had when Alexis Strange left to go play beach, we had an opening. So it's just kind of a. She had been here. She knew what the program's about. She's from Colorado, so it's close to her family. They, they I think her family's been here every weekend, and <clears throat> um, it worked out that we had, you know, we needed to set her. So it's just kind of luck of the draw, and. And, but our early recruiting of her paid off. And I think the fact that Kelsey was here paid off. Our juniors are not really, they're great kids, but they're not the fire brimstone leader types. And um, so uh, Mary's had to take on a big role. Now we're trying to develop some of those younger players to do it, but you know, a lot of it falls on Mary. And you know, she's done a great job. And uh, game three, I. I called a timeout and I said, you know, I don't really don't have anything to say to you guys, and you know, so it's on you. And Mary pulled him in there, and I don't know what she said to him, but we started playing better. And and really, the only match we've had a really well, the two matches we played really poorly was Michigan and Wisconsin on the road. Every other match, I felt like we could have won, should have won, um, but those two matches, Wisconsin played great, and we were up there, and Minnesota or uh, Michigan, we were just. 
they crushed us. I mean, it wasn't even a – they were so much better than us that day. So we'll get another shot at them Saturday. Well, Kevin, we played the toughest schedule in the country. I think if you look at all the top ten teams, we played everybody but Washington. Nobody else has even come close to that. I mean, I, you look at the Big 12 right now, there's one ranked team in the whole conference, Texas. So they've been playing for two months. They're, they're not even playing ranked teams. Um, so we've had a very, very tough schedule with, with a, a, a team that, um, you know, has had trouble handling the competition level every night. And hopefully we're getting better with that. Uh, so, yeah, I think our RPI right now is 11 or was last week. Um, our Pablo rank is really good. So, you know, we feel like you got to play good teams and you should be rewarded for that. So we'll see how we can finish out here. But I don't think you can penalize in Nebraska or some of these other teams that are playing, you know, top 10 teams all the time. And, and some of these other conferences don't even play ranked teams. Uh, so there needs to be a reward in that. But I think the other thing that, you know, factors in is, um, you know, attendance. You bring it here, you know, we're probably going to sell it out. So I, I think that looks good in that Indiana did not play well here. So they're, they're going to be out to, to prove it. It's, they always play well at home. Um, so this is a really, you know, our team's going to be really mature in how they handle this mentally going in there and, and get ready to have, give a great effort and not wait around for Indiana to give it to us. I mean, Indiana's beaten Michigan there. They beat Northwestern on the road, and they beat uh, they beat uh, they beat some. Uh, I think they beat Minnesota there. So they've had some really good wins at home. Is that one of the smaller gyms? Yeah, that you yeah. It's like a small high school gym. Yeah, it's not even, and they just kind of have portal. Yeah, it's it's a really cracker box. It's like the movie Hoosiers, small gym.